Welcome to the channel. Today something interesting happened is I found this tub of uh, buffer. This is a Ballistic Products Ink Mix 47 buffer somewhere in the deep dark corner of my shed. It's a product I bought about 10 years ago and I regretted buying it almost immediately. I actually spent some time googling it today and the idea of buffer is going out of fashion. Um, most of the results I got on my Google search were from like uh, coming in 10 years ago. Uh, and so I thought I'd hold a little requiem for this stuff. Now, the idea behind Buffer is uh, quite intelligent. The idea is that if we start off with our standard backshot load, so we put powder into our hull, and then we put on top of that, we put our wad, and then we put on our SG buckshot pellets, like so, then there's space between those pellets. And the fear is that were we to fire this particular load, the stress of the acceleration of firing would deform the pellets and pellets that aren't spherical don't tend to fly very well and therefore the group would suffer. That's the basic idea and um, this, this buffer stuff then would act as a filler for all the empty spaces thus the spherical form would be protected. Now the use is quite simple obviously this stuff is quite light because if it were heavy there's talk about using sugar for buffer I, th I saw today. Mm, I don't know what that's going to do to your barrel. But um, sugar would be, for example, quite heavy. So I would very carefully weigh my load with the sugar and load for something that's slightly heavier than uh, just the lead load, if you get my drift. So the use of this buffer stuff then is you have a sort of dipper. This is a, a lee dipper that I have. And you fill it up and you have your load and you pour it in and you give it a bit of a shake, gently of course, that you don't move the pellets. And there we have it, the buffer has moved into all the empty spaces and uh, the pellets will deform, hopefully not at all or less. Now, the problem with this is that I loaded it and I didn't particularly like this product. I had hoped it was some sort of silica product or something, but I actually think it's some sort of polymer. We'll look that up in a minute. So when I finished my load then, I put my lid on. I think at the time I was using Red Dot or something. I had a, a pretty uh, a solidly worked out match load that I uh, used repeatedly, that I had uh, uh, hulls for. And everything was always the same. And I did one with buffer, I did one without buffer. The buffer load didn't shoot any better. And well, that was kind of the end of my interest in, in buffer because it added an extra step of effort and I did nothing to improve accuracy. And um, th this was out to about 35 yards. I don't think at the time we shot further than that. I think I might have tried it at 50 as well. It just, it just, it didn't do much. It didn't do anything for me personally. So I've, I just threw it in a, in a box and um, just recently I've uh, rediscovered it and she took a bit of a closer look at it and I've discovered something that I really rather dislike. So I'll have to bring you in for this. Okay, so we have our, uh, we have just a bit of protective metal here and I have a, a 9mm case. I'm going to just put some buffer in some 9mm case. We'll compress it down a bit, we'll get a little more. And uh, I'm going to put a torch to this because I think this was actually quite interesting. And we get a nice little fire. I have to say I dislike the dark smoke. Blow that out and we'll stick in this here bolt. Now there's a curious bit of pushback there. But if we let that cool, we can see that we have created a sort of black paste. And what this basically is, this stuff, is it's a plastic. So uh, back on the big screen now. So this, my, my eyes are watering, this stuff is horrible. I think this is basically a, a plastic polymer of some description. It's, uh, it actually, uh, if you mess with it, you can actually melt larger chunks. And uh, if you actually try pulling on it, it's actually quite, uh, it's quite tough. This is, it's very bendy. It is basically what you're shooting is a microplastic. So basically what we have here is we have a shredded plastic and each shot shell you fire that you load with this stuff spreads the stuff in the, uh, into the wind and uh, it'll get everywhere and you know the lead is bad enough but um, if you're shooting at a, a regular range at least you know there are ways of dealing it with the NIA we have a backstop and all the 
the lead gets dug out and reused and recycled. But this plastic stuff, I'm sorry, I think that's a step too far. You're basically shooting a microplastic into the uh, into the seven winds that'll end up in the food chain. And uh, no, 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 not not with me, mate. As an aside, my local range, Bisley uh, Ranges, they don't let you shoot uh, uh, plastic uh, wads anymore. You have to use fiber wads, and the only time you can use uh, plastic in a, in a shotgun load is if it's integral with a slug. So something like this, for example, where the, uh, the plastic wad is integral, that you're allowed to shoot. For buckshot, for example, you'd probably have to use a fiber hull, and I certainly wouldn't use this stuff on any range anywhere. I, it, it just left me with this pot and I've had this pot now for 10 years. Still bloody here. What on earth do I do with it? So those are my thoughts. I would not advise anyone to buy this stuff. And uh, if you're thinking of improving the accuracy of the load, the quality of uh, manufactured buckshot these days, you have flight control stuff and all sorts of better quality woods than we used to do. And if you have to use a fiber board at your range, then uh, realistically your uh, only options are to use harder buckshot pellets. Um, the, the hardness grade will re reduce the deformation. Or you could use uh, a softer load. I got good results with that. You could also try an alternative buffer to this plastic stuff. But um, I would not recommend this product in any way, shape or form. So I hope that was interesting and um, I will see you next time. Bye bye.